I sprang to the stirrup, and Joris and he. I galloped, Dirk galloped, we galloped all three. Good speed, cried the watch as the gate bolts undrew. Speed, echoed the wall who was galloping through. Behind shut the postern, the light sank to rest, and into the midnight we galloped abreast. Not a word to each other, we kept the great pace, neck by neck, stride by stride, never changing our place. I turned in my saddle and made its girths tight, then shortened each stirrup and set the peak right, rebuckled the check strap, chained slacker the bit, nor galloped lest readily it roll under wit. It was moonset at starting, but while we drew near Locker and the cock's crew, and twilight dawned clear, at boom a great yellow star came out to sea, a dew felt twas morn as plain as could be, and from Meckon Church steeple we heard the half chime, so Joris broke silence with, Yet there is time! And air shot up leapt of a sudden the sun, and against him the cattle stood black every one, to stare through the mist at us galloping past, and I saw my stout galloper Roland at last, with resolute shoulders each butting away the haze, as some bluff river headland its spray. And his low head and crest, just one sharp ear bent back for my voice, the other pricked out on his track, and one eye's black intelligence, ever that glance o'er its white edge at me, its own master askance. And the thick heavy spume flakes, which I and anon his fierce lip shook upward in galloping on, my hustled Dirk groaned and cried, Joris, stay spur, your ruse galloped bravely, the fault's not in her, we'll remember it aches. The one heard the quick wheeze of her chest, saw the stretched neck and the staggering knees and sunk tail and horrible heave of the flank, as down on her haunches she shuddered and sank. So we were left galloping, Joris and I, past Luz and past Tongre. No cloud in the sky. The broad sun above laughed a pitiless laugh. Neath our feet broke the brittle bright stubble like chaff. Till over by Dalham a dome spire sprang white. And gallop, gasped Joris, for Aix is in sight. How they'll greet us! And all in a moment his roan rolled neck and croup over. They dead as a stone. And there was my Roland to bear the whole weight of the news which alone could save Aix from her fate. With his nostrils like pits full of blood to the brim. And with circles of red for his eye sockets rim. Then I cast loose my buff coat, each horse to let fall, shook off both my jack boots, let go belt and all, stoop up in the stirrups, leaned, patted his ear, called my Roland his pet name, my horse without peer, clapped my hands, laughed and sung, any noise, bad or good, till at length into aches Roland galloped and stood. And all I remember is friends flocking round, As I sate with his head twixt my knees on the ground, And no voice but was praising this Roland of mine, As I poured down his throat our last measure of wine, Which, the Burgesses voted by common consent, Was no more than his due who brought good news from Ghent, 